What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 126 of my contact mission series here in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Uh, last time we continued our way through the ULP uh, Operation Paper Trail missions by doing the second mission called Counter Intelligence. Uh, and in that mission it, we started out by hacking these surveillance drones that belong to the FIB and that told us about a base of operations that was out of a motel somewhere and so we went there but it turns out that the motel was a trap and we got gassed and we got arrested by the FIB and we were in the back of this van and the van was rigged to blow with this bomb and the bomb actually took me quite a while to defuse because it was very difficult. It's a hacking thing that I'd hardly ever done before, so it took me a while to figure it out. But after you defuse the bomb, you just have to get away in the van and get to the extraction point. So, a pretty hard mission, definitely way harder than the first mission. And now we're going to move on to mission three, which is called Extraction. And the description says, Agent, your next assignment is as follows. A fellow intelligence officer's cover has been compromised. You'll find them and exfiltrate them. They are carrying information which is crucial to the success of this investigation. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be rescuing a fellow uh, intelligence officer. Pretty cool. I wonder where this person is. Okay, so in mission one, our outfit was the intelligence. In mission two, we were the clandestine. So let's see what outfit I want to wear this time. We could be the agent or the emissary. Let's be the agent, you know, because we're going to be exfiltrating a fellow agent so we should do it as an agent so let's get her I think it's a woman if you saw in the picture I think we're exfiltrating a woman from somewhere I don't know where she is okay here are your coordinates agent Johnson is our principal undercover asset in the Duggan organization her disappearance is a major threat to our investigation I need you to track her down she keeps a garage across town. Let's start there. Okay, I will do that. I don't know why it keeps giving me the Rustin. I don't want that. I want my uh, uh, unmarked cruiser. I'm a CIA, well, IAA agent. I need an unmarked cruiser if I'm going to be an agent. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? Yes, I do. Give me my unmarked cruiser. It's on the way. Now, if I was doing the Clucking Bell farm raid, I'd be using my other cop car, but I'm not. So I got to use this one because it's more covert and inconspicuous. No truck. Your beautiful wheels. You just ran over a federal agent, you piece of crap. Don't do that. Damn it. Got run over twice trying to get to my unmarked cruiser. It wouldn't be an episode of my contact mission series if I didn't get run over by somebody. Happens almost every time. Like in the last mission, I was getting away in the van and some truck crashed into my truck and forced me off a bridge into the water. It was so stupid. Good thing I'd already defused the bomb, so I just had to re-get away. But if I had to re-defuse that bomb, I would have been livid. Because I hated that mission. That bomb defusal is so hard to do. Alright, so it says she owns a garage over here. That's strange. Because I own a garage over here. I'm just kidding. I don't. I do own a bunch of garages in the city. But not this one. 
This is hers. I probably could own this one, but I don't want to. I only own 10 car garages and bigger. Hopefully there's no one in here, because I don't want to have to deal with anybody. Nope. Looks like she has a Leave green there. sedan. Anything that might tell us what happened to her. And another car underneath cloth. Hmm. So we gotta look around, search for any clues in Agent Johnson's garage. Okay. What about this? There's documents. IAA documents. Classified information. Good thing we have a high security clearance. Oh, there's a laptop. Oh, the laptop won't turn on. The heck? Alright. No clues in the laptop. There's a duffel bag that probably has money in it. Oh, what's she been doing? Has she been stealing money? That's my job. I'm the illicit criminal, not you. Oh, more documents. More classified information. I'll just look at that for later. nothing here what is that it looks like a flash drive or not a flash drive a hard drive but I guess not I don't get it there's nothing else here I looked for two documents and a computer that wouldn't turn on there's nothing else here is there information in her car hello mr. car is there any information in there no Dang it, I thought you'd be like a talking computer. One possibility. If Agent Johnson was preparing for a journey of any kind, standard procedure mandates that she map out and de-risk the location in advance. And maybe check if she has any recent destinations on the GPS in her car. I was just by her car. I didn't think anything of that. But you're right, GPS would be a good clue. Oh, why'd you have to do that, Joker? I didn't need to break her windshield. Now I'm gonna have to pay for that. All right. Bingo. See if you can find her. Looks like there's three possible locations. They haven't popped up yet because I'm still in the garage. So let's exit the garage and then figure out where she is. She's at one of these three locations. I just don't know where. One of them looks to be near the beach uh... we'll check that one first because it's closer the other one appears to be i think this is the home depot like the u-tool store which is this game's version of home depot i think that's what that is i think and the other one looks to be up in sandy shores near where trevor's trailer is alright let's start with the beach Maybe she wanted to get a tan. You never know. Maybe she got bored and turned off her tracker and said, I'm taking a day at the beach. And that's what she's doing. She's not missing. She's not being kidnapped. She's just lounging on the beach. She's got her uh, tanning lotion on. A bikini, just lounging. I guarantee that's what she's doing. That's what I would be doing if I didn't have this GPS tracker on, but I already disabled it. Remember, a couple missions ago they said I had a GPS tracker and I said I disabled it already. They can't track me. I'm the Joker. I'm unpredictable. I don't know what that means. Could you tell it to me in English? Just say, Agent Johnson needs rescuing. Go get her. That's all you gotta say. You don't have to say it, whatever else you said. I am just a simple clown. Alright, out of the way. This isn't my unmarked cruiser, so I can't flash you guys and tell you to get out of my way. Oh, is this her Any beach house? 
I don't know. Maybe she bought a beach house. Oh, what? She's not here. Oh, I thought for sure she'd be at the beach. She could have been in this purple and pink house here. This is the perfect place to be. Right? Although, how do you get into this place? There's no front door. There's just garage. Let's go investigate this. I know she's not here, but I want to investigate how the heck you get in this house. What how, What kind of a house doesn't have a front door? There's a back door. And it looks like there's a spiral staircase up to the deck. Well, let's go up here. Oh. Can go in there, and then oh, there's another spiral staircase up to the top. Well, this is an interesting little beach house. This is a tiny little deck. I mean, there's only room up here for like two chairs. And then this one has a little bit more room, but still, same thing. Maybe two or three chairs, maybe a grill, an umbrella. Not much you could put up there. I still don't see a freaking front door though. That's weird. All there is is a back door, a deck, and then a garage. So you're supposed to enter the house through the garage? That's so dumb. How, that terrible design. All right, we got a little sidetracked by that beach house, but you know, beach houses are cool. Now let's go find Agent Johnson. So she wasn't lounging on the beach, although that would have probably been the better thing for her to be doing right now. Instead of getting herself kidnapped Daphne style. And now I gotta be, you know, Fred and the rest of the Mystery Inc. gang and I gotta go rescue her. Why you gotta go and freaking Daphne yourself, huh? Damsel in distress. Oh! Oh yeah, jumped that one. Hey, stop honking at a federal agent. Right this instant. I will not have that. Her car is really banged up. I broke her window to get into the car and now I've just scratched the crap out of it. She's not going to be happy when I get to her. This car was probably gifted to her by her husband or her parents when she was 16. And she's cherished it ever since, and now I've wrecked it. I've wrecked it. What, did you stop for ice coffee or something? If you're ever missing and possibly kidnapped, rest assured, my team will not take this long to follow up on a lead about your possible location. Oh, trust me. One, I'll never get kidnapped because I own half this city, so pretty much half these buildings are buildings I own. So anywhere I'd be kidnapped to would just be a place I own and I'll just have security there to deal with it. Two, good luck kidnapping me in the first place because I'm the Joker and I've got infinite rounds of ammo and tanks and fighter jets and helicopters, so good luck getting me. And, sec and third, even if you do manage to get me, I'll just take you all out John Wick style and leave no bodies alive. So you're not kidnapping me. And on another note, you say that, it, did I stop for a nice coffee? Of course I didn't. I don't drink coffee. You think the Joker drinks coffee? I'm already insane. Do you think I need to become more insane by being high on caffeine I don't think so I'm naturally crazy so no I would never have a cup of coffee in my life so how dare you say I stop for coffee now stop for a donut that's a different story but no I didn't do that either I was just you know taking a cruise of the town and I stopped to look at a beach house, okay? Maybe I wanted to buy a beach house. It's the only thing in this city I don't own yet. Maybe I want to buy a beach house. Oh, 
although those beach houses are too small for my liking. I'm a multi-millionaire in this game, so I need like a 50,000 square foot beach house, and none of those are even close. And no, I'm not kidding. I would get a 50,000 square foot beach house. I want it to be as big as the freaking White House, okay? Because I want a bowling alley in it. I want a miniature golf course, an indoor pool, outdoor pool. I want all of it, man. And I want it to have like 20 bedrooms so I could sleep in a different bedroom every night for almost a month. <laughs> That's how the Joker works. When you're this rich, you want a big, opulent house. Okay. Wh where is this location? I said it was at a Home Depot. I don't think it is. This doesn't look like where Home Depot is. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't remember where the the U-Tool store is. I don't know why she'd be at a Home Depot unless she's shopping. She could be. I thought she was at the beach. Maybe she's shopping. Oh, this isn't... Okay, this is a shopping center. Well, what do we got in this here shopping center? We got a dollar pills which is basically a dollar general that's what she's doing she's a dollar general she's probably buying her groceries how are we looking out there did you find her yet no she's not a dollar general dang it i thought for sure she'd be buying groceries or i thought she'd be shopping for clothes at suburban damn it well that's not where she is oh if she's over here, that means Trevor kidnapped her. Trevor, if you have Agent Johnson, I'm going to have a little word with you. How dare Trevor kidnap her? She, he probably thought she was uh, Martin Madrazo's, uh, I guess, wife, I think. Yeah, Martin Madrazo's wife. He's probably blind. Well, not blind, but you know what I mean. He's probably needs very, very uh, good prescription glasses to see. Take a shortcut through the airfield. I think this is where the airfield is. Yeah, it's right here. Shortcut through the airfield. It, rock out of the way and guardrail. Okay, this is the road next to the airfield. Oh, another stupid Toyota Prius. Get out of my way. All right, so let's see where she is. What? Why is it targeting focus? Uh-oh. People are shooting. Hey! Who's shooting? And who are they shooting at? They're shooting at Agent Johnson. Yeah, I know. I'm shooting at cops, too. What do you, What can you say? I'm still the Joker. Ow, ow. You're probably wondering why I'm firing this in, in burst fire. It's because it's more accurate in burst fire. In full auto, it just gets too many hit markers. There's so many. There's so many. How are you alive, Agent Johnson? Ow, ow, ow. Get more health. More health. I 
I don't even remember where Agent Johnson is. I think she's hiding somewhere. Ow, ow, there's a cop right behind me. Stop shooting at the Joker. I am not a maggot, okay? I'm a human being, I'm not a freaking larva. Stupid cops! I'm shooting at the Vagos and at cops. Of course she'd get herself kidnapped by the freaking Vagos. I hate the Vagos. Ow! I'm not keeping an eye on my health. I can't... can't die here. Ow! Ow! Stupid... Popo! Out of here! so many people to kill this is definitely a scene out of John Wick as I kill everyone around me so I think the Vagos don't spawn forever but the cops do and the cops are the bigger problem ow 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 stop spawning no! Stop spawning forever, you dumb cops! Ow! Someone's shooting at the Vagos. I think that might be Agent Johnson. Ow! Get out of here, Vagos, you trash people. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Stop calling me names. I still don't even know where Agent Johnson is because I'm just trying to kill everyone in sight first. You're right. There's nowhere for you to run. Stop shooting at the cop. Shoot at him first. Just shooting it. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Where did these guys come from? Maybe the Vagos are spawning forever, too. Man, things have escalated. Well, if anything, this is a great way to farm XP. At some point, they're going to stop spawning, right? You would think. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it. Ow. Well, I mean, I'm not going to run out of ammo anytime soon. No. That. I gotta retreat, man. I gotta retreat. There's just too many of them. I'm gonna have to flank them from another side. Holy crap, dude. I still don't even know where Agent Johnson is. What kind of a mission spawns enemies forever? It should eventually have them go away. More cops. Stop spawning in, you dumb cops. I have no... I'm gonna run out of snacks. He 
keep spawning in, I'm gonna keep killing you. Ow! If I could find Agent Johnson, that would be great. sake dude if I could just have them not spawn for five seconds where is this guy Yeah, I got you to come out, didn't I? Stop shooting at that guy and shoot at the guy next to me! I'm gonna run out of snacks, because I can't shoot at all these guys at the same time. Just die! Where are you, Agent Johnson? How did you get into this kind of situation in the first place? Who gets attacked by this many people? I've killed so many people, I ranked up my crew. I have no health left and I have no snacks. This is so stupid. I physically can't do anything. I can't do anything. I don't know where Agent Johnson is. I, I don't know what to do there. Like, there's so many people. Why do they have to spawn forever? What's up with that Treyarch? Or not Treyarch. <laughs> Rockstar. What is up with that, Rockstar? Why do you have missions where enemies spawn forever? It's bad enough that there's that many of them, but that they spawn forever. I can't even find where Agent Johnson is because I'm getting shot at. Come on. It's such bullshit. I, that entire time, I probably killed a hundred people. I didn't even see where she was. Where the heck is she? Oh my God. Now I have no snacks. I've got no body armor. You know what I'm going to do? Screw this. Do I have access to all my vehicles? Oh wait, hold on. I gotta manage. I gotta return this to storage. Doesn't look like I have access to all my stuff. Fuck. Do I at least have my armored Karuma? I hate missions that do this. I hate missions that don't let you have all the vehicles that you want to have. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Arcade. Uh, where's my facility? I just. Yep, it doesn't give me access to all my stuff. That's such bullshit. I hate missions like that. 
I guess I'll just get my armored crew it's coming mount. At, you. Okay, I got stuff to do. at least in there I'm protected from all their stupid bullets and I can drive around looking for where she is I wish I could freaking get a tank which actually that wouldn't be a bad idea because I'm right next to the military base and if you remember a long time ago in the casino mission I uh, stole a tank to use to take out Thornton Duggan why don't I just do that again the, it's right over here it's like two miles away and that way I'm in a vehicle where they can't do anything about me because in this eventually I'm gonna get shot to shit but they're not gonna shoot down a tank little detour man this mission took a turn for the worse the first part of it was just look for her now it's get shot at by a hundred cops and a thousand Vagos well screw that it's not like she's in any immediate danger anyway. I couldn't even find her. She's probably hidden in some shipping container or something. I don't know. The thing is, the cops are shooting at the Vagos, and the Vagos are shooting at the cops. So is a Agent Johnson just in the wrong place at the wrong time? Or did she start that? I don't know. But she picked a terrible place to be. But I'm so sick of missions with infinitely spawning enemies. It's so dumb. I don't care if you send in a bunch of reinforcements, but at some point, there needs to be an end. They have to start stopping to spawn. Now the question is, can I get into this? Because... I, it's not like I had a wanted level. I was shooting at all those cops and I didn't even get a wanted level. But can I even get into the military base is my question. No. Really? I can't even get in? Hmm. Well, if I can't get in, then I don't think I can get out either. Well, let's see if I can find another way in. So if I can't get in, that probably means there's no tanks in there either. But the thing is, it worked in the casino mission, so why wouldn't it work here? This mission's just like the casino mission, and it worked there. It should work here. I do know one way in, but the problem is I can get in, but if the doors are locked from one side, they're probably locked from the other side, too. I don't even see any tanks. But this is really the only place I can get a tank, because they took my tank away. Because this... Because Rockstar just loves taking away people's fun. They can't just have people having fun doing a mission. They gotta make it so that you can't have any fun. And they're supposed to be coming out with GTA 6 next year? They better not take away the fun in that game. I mean, you're taking away the fun from a game that people are spending money to buy. Uh-oh. Whoa. So you can get a wanted level in this mission. I didn't think you could. So I couldn't get in, but they were able to shoot at me from inside. That's stupid. I guess we'll just have to do it the normal way. I am going to have to call Moore's Mutual, though, because they destroyed my car immediately. Well, at least it spawns me back over there. i got to get this done, because this mission's taken way too long. No. Stop giving me that vehicle. That's not the vehicle I want. 
Yeah, yeah, my personal vehicle is destroyed. That happens to me all the time. Probably had to call Moore's Mutual about 500 times. MMI, we expect the unexpected. I'll look into it. Ah, uh, now I gotta call him again because if I get my vehicle delivered to me, he's just gonna deliver the rust in, and I don't want the rust in. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? I'll get there as soon as I can. First thing I'm doing is I'm not even gonna care about the cops or the Vagos. I'm just gonna drive around in my armored Kuruma and look for her. Because if I can get her into this car, then I can just drive away and forget about all of them. At least I gave the tank idea a try. I didn't realize you could get a wanted level in this mission. And I also didn't realize that you couldn't get into... Fuck you. Where are you, Agent Johnson? Where are you? She's gotta be hiding somewhere. Maybe she's somewhere over here. Agent Johnson, where the frick are you? Are you hiding in this bus? No? Oh, I found her. Oh, there she is. We need to get out of here now. Well that was easy. Sit rep. We have two groups of hostiles. Cartel soldiers, possible links to Marabunta Grande, and Duggan personnel both highly dangerous they are hostile to each other and us we need to evacuate this area and regroup stat get her out of there and remember local law enforcement are not in the loop for this operation you're on your own just don't get caught oh i didn't because in this timeline i didn't shoot at any of them i only ran over a couple of vagos haha -ha. So I didn't Damn. even do anything to them. I thought I was dead back there for sure. How the heck did you find me? Recent GPS locks in my car? That was good uh, work. Yep. They exactly. They told me I was heading to a deal. I figure it's business as usual. No clue they'd made me. I just had time to map it out, and the next thing I know, there's a black bag over my head. I think they were planning to sell me as leverage to the cartel. I don't know what the hell happened. But the deal went south, people started dropping left and right. You got there just in time. So are you new? I don't recognize you. <sighs> Thank you anyway. You don't Excuse recognize the clown together, prince okay? of crime? Uh, are, you, are you sure I'm the new one or are you the new one? Because I've been in this city for 11 years. Wreaking havoc. So and you don't know who I am? Let me tell you, this stuff goes deep. Way deeper than our models predicted. It's got bureau written all over it. I was so close to putting it all together before my cover got blown. Anyway, here's what I can tell you. The Duggins are putting together some kind of next-gen computer software. That's how they're fixing the price of gas. This thing is exploding backdoors everywhere, including the goddamn Balsack data center. It's manipulating trade prices, supply, demand, shipment delays, rating agencies, public oversight mechanisms, you name it. It's even pushing panic buying using bots on social media. The Duggins already have most of the tech they need, and they're out to buy even more from the FIB's confiscated items. Whatever's going on, we need to move on it fast. Okay. Well, to ans to get back to my point, are you sure I'm the new one? You don't know who I am. I'm the clown. I'm the clown the prince of crime. I've been wreaking havoc on this city for years, and you have no idea who I am? You must have been living under a rock. And also, our, yeah, it's not in great condition. It was before I broke the window on it and crashed it into a bunch of things. 
So you're gonna probably wanna have, you're probably gonna wanna buff out all that out of Los Santos Customs. Oh, and you probably don't realize that I uh, died three times trying to get to you. So, but none of those timelines are relevant. Only this timeline is relevant. I gotta find a way to get away from these cops. But I guess I gave you guys the tips and tricks. It took me too long to figure it out. But my advice, if you have an armored Kuruma, use it, okay? Don't even worry about the Vagos to the cops. Just find where she is, get her, and get away. That's all you gotta do. I wasted my time killing all those people. Because they just spawn forever anyway. There's no point in taking any of them out. So I just found her and got away. It's the easiest thing to do. Dang it, man. There's cops all over the gaff. Get out of here. So where am I taking you, Agent Johnson? Huh? Where am I taking you? Uh, I feel... A little faint. Could you take me to the hospital? Debrief's gonna have to wait. Take you to the hospital? Well, lucky for you, I own a hospital. Oh, not. Well, thank you. Did that help you with your uh, feeling dizzy? Because now you'll feel twice as dizzy. Haha. -ha. So you'll forget about your initial dizziness because you'll feel dizziness from that. Okay, Agent Johnson. Time to go to uh, Joker Again. General. Hopefully my intel fills in some of the blanks. I'm sure you'll get a copy of the mission report. Good work today. Now having successfully undertaken field work in temperatures of over 100 degrees, I'm giving you a direct order to take a shower before you are you talking to me or her? Because I think we both could use a shower. Okay, here's Joker General, the finest hospital in the city. And don't re disregard the fact that it's called Pillbox Hill. That's not the name. They haven't changed the sign yet. I told them to change it, and they said no. So now, I'm going to be sending in my biggest men to, you know, tell them otherwise. So it looks like we got $33,600. That's pretty good, considering I failed it three times, or twice, or however many times I failed it. Ghosts exposed. Was that? I don't know, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, let me stand outside a Joker General. Agent Johnson's somewhere in here. I can't get inside. Hey, this is my hospital. I want in. Okay, I guess I'll just stand outside. Just stand right... Right, uh, no. Hold on. Right here, by these beds she's probably on one of those beds by now but anyway that'll do it for ULP mission 3 extraction we extracted agent Johnson and took her to the hospital and now in the next mission we're gonna do ULP asset seizure which is the fourth mission we'll see what that's about next time uh, in the meantime like I said uh, easiest thing to do is just find where she is. If you have an armored Kuruma, use it. If you don't, just use a normal car. Just drive straight to where she is and get away. Don't even worry about the Vagos or the police because it's just not worth it. They're going to spawn forever and you're just going to die like I did. So, but yeah... Best case scenario, if you have an armored Kuruma, use it. Or an insurgent, some kind of armored vehicle. Because you don't have access to much else. Like, you don't have any tanks or helicopters or stuff like that, because Rockstar's no fun. But, uh, yeah. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you're new by hitting that subscribe button and then click on that notification bell. Set it to all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll catch you guys in my next part. So I'll see you all later.